Well, I think it's, well, you can see by the fact that there are 12, uh, over a thousand people here that many people agree that the issue of forests Rainforests, in, tropical rainforests in particular, is incredibly important. Events like this provide an opportunity for people to share knowledge, to celebrate success, and it's really important that we do that from time to time, and to also highlight some of the big questions and work that still remains to be done on what's a global priority of, of conserving and improving the management of our tropical forests. It's a smart and insightful theme because it puts people up front and it implies that it's not just about uh, that you need to come up with solutions that um, ensure that economic growth can be sustained into the long term. If we come up with solutions that lock people out or that don't provide sustainable livelihoods for people, then those solutions won't last. And so it's great to have a, a conference title that implies that people are important if you want to conserve nature. And secondly, that we need to do so in ways that boost the economy, not constrain the economy. Across the Asia Pacific, certainly the subject of APRS, so the, the conservation and management of, of our rainforests, our tropical forests, that's a huge issue environmentally. Broader species loss, continued species loss and, and habitat fragmentation and destruction is important both on land and on the coast in mangroves and peatlands and also uh, in marine areas. Pollution is huge uh, and it's great to see the attention now being given to the, this huge issue of plastics in the oceans. And the big backdrop to all of that, of course, is climate change. Um, both the gradual warming of, the, of the, the oceans and the atmosphere leading to much more extreme and intense weather events. And then the flow on impacts of that on farming systems, food production, the reliability of seasons, um, rising sea levels, the acidification of the oceans. There's a whole compounding interacting suite of of impacts of uh, climate change that affect everything else. Well, in the long term, if we don't reconcile conservation with human needs, we won't meet any human needs. So they're not uh, incompatible. Too often the environment is put up as an, al as an alternative to the economy or, or to society and in fact the economy is a subset of the environment and unless we manage the environment properly uh, our economic growth cannot be sustained. So uh, we need to continue to figure out ways of managing the environment more sustainably, of using natural resources more wisely and uh, of reducing our impact on those natural resources and reusing, recycling um, and uh, coming up with smarter ways of doing things. And we need to do this across climate, water, energy and food simultaneously. We can't just look at each one of those issues in isolation. So our food production, the way we generate electricity, uh, the way we consume and manage water, all of those things are now completely interrelated and we need to see them as part of one problem or one challenge or one opportunity.